Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria Let's Play. We're on the 19th episode guys and again, a huge thank you for all of the support in the last episode and indeed for the series so far. Really, really do appreciate it. It means the world to me guys, it really does. So, in today's episode there's a couple things I want to do. Uh, first of which is of course explore the dungeon. We have the ability to do so now and in addition to that my friends, I think it would be a nice idea if we finally made the balcony builder. We were mentioning and we do for the longest time right so as i mentioned before basically all we're going to do is convert this into a bit of a doorway and then have a bit of a ramp going out and then just a nice little pier going along the edge here so we could fish out and do whatever we need to do right so that'd be a nice idea that really really will but before we do anything we do have another quest item to hand in so what is it going to be another sextant okay we don't need two sextants um but okay <laughs> I mean, I'll take it. I mean, that's kind of cool. I wasn't expecting to get a duplicate. I really, really wasn't. I was expecting to uh, to get the final accessory we needed, which, of course, was the weather radio, wasn't it? So, yeah. Oh, well. Doesn't matter too much, my friends. Doesn't matter too much. Now, of course, when the new day begins, we'll be able to get ourselves another fishing quest done. And I looked up on the Terraria wiki, and apparently, you get the golden fishing rod when you have completed the 30th quest on your world. Now, I'm not going to lie, I have absolutely no idea how close I am to being able to get that, but I've got a feeling we might be fairly close. If I was to estimate how many quests we have done now, I would estimate around 20, something like that. I think 20 is a pretty reasonable number to estimate. So, I mean, I could be closer, I could be further away than I first thought. I've got absolutely no idea. But guys, we are going to go exploring in the dungeon. We've got our B gun, we've got everything on us, and everything is looking fan freaking fantastic. Check it out, guys. Little bit of a progress update regarding the corruption. It is growing nicely. Look at it. Look at this. Like, this area here is now fully corruptified. Uh, it's just sort of nearer the dungeon. There's still some little bits. Like, there's a bit down here. There's a bit here. You know, it's only because we didn't have enough corrupt seeds, right? So, we've got this area here as well. So, yeah. Plenty of stuff still to do, but we are looking good, guys. So, ladies and gentlemen, it is that time. We are going to explore the dungeon, and we are hopefully going to get some awesome stuff, including paintings. The twins have awoken. Yes, that is a cool-looking painting. I like the I like the blue and the very vivid nature of the colors on that. I think that's really, really awesome. Uh, but yeah, guys, we're going to go down. We're hoping to just get one of everything, really. I mean, I'm not really in the market to stay in this place for that long an amount of time. I never really like spending, like, an entire episode going through dungeons because they're not that interesting. I mean, yeah, you get loot, but in all honesty... I feel like there's more interesting things to explore in the game. Like, I feel like the dungeon could maybe do with a little bit of an overhaul. Maybe some specific, like, dungeon rooms or something. Or challenge rooms or something. I think that'd be a really cool idea. I don't know if the Terraria devs are watching, but there you go. Free suggestion. There you go. But anyways, uh, yeah, guys, we're looking good. Ooh, a key slime just jumped down. Oh, dang it. I think he just... Wait, oh, yeah, he's... he's... Oh, oh, hey, mechanic. How you doing there, buddy? Cool. So one of the other things I came to learn is the fact that the mechanic on a very specific moon phase in hard mode will sell a fishing rod, the mechanical fishing rod, which does 30% fishing power, which is more than the fiberglass fishing pole, which is kind of awesome. Uh, got another water bot right there. Kind of cool, I guess. Uh, but in the meantime, all we can do really is just kind of explore and hope that we get some cool things. I mean... I guess another kind of side goal we could go for is maybe going for the Necro Armor. Get ourselves a Ranger set. Huh? What do you guys think? Ranger set? I think that would be a nice idea. I love going for a Ranger set, especially with the Bee's Knees, which, by the way, we don't have yet. Um, but, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you. Wait, that is... What a weird place for a pressure plate. It's, like, literally on top of a spike. I don't understand this game. I really don't. Okay. Uh, well, anyways, let's uh, keep ourselves going here real quick. Uh, boop. Let's open that up real quick. Uh, there's not a whole bunch of interesting stuff so far. No sign of an alchemy table. That's one of the other things I love to try and find. Uh, okay. That's looking good. Oh, there's the alchemy table. And also, we found ourselves the frost chest. Very, very good. I'm very happy with that. Okay. So, that's one out of four biome chests. Oh, I just came to the realization as well that uh, when we get to hard mode, or more to the point, late hard mode, we could open the corruption chest on the alternate world, right? 
I mean, that could be an idea. But then again, I'm pretty sure, yeah, the, the curse of the biome chest. You need to defeat Plantera before you open them, right? So, yeah. Basically, what I'm saying is we've actually got quite a lot of things still to do in the alternate world before we even try to attempt to get ourselves some of the other stuff, right? So, yeah. Hello! You know what would be cool is if we managed to pick up the Nazar pre-hard mode as well. We've got the Bazaar pre-hard mode. I mean, what's to stop us getting the other stuff's pre-hard mode, huh? No oh, idea. Anyways, Muramasa, looking good. Okay, uh, there's that going on. Hello. Right, I mean, honestly, ow, ouch. The more stuffs we get, the better things are going to be. Hmm. You see, I'm purposely keeping all of the the uh, little water candles there for the simple reason of increased spawn rates equals more bones. More bones equals more ability to make the Necro armor, right? So, I don't know. To me, it makes sense anyway. And there we go, my friends. There's the Crimson Chest, as I've mentioned before. My favorite one because you get the Vampire Knives. Arguably the best biome chest weapon there is. Uh, right, what have we got in this one? Blue Moon! Okay, cool. Uh, there'll be another key in this one. Yeah, buddy. All right, and we've got yet another chest over here we can open. Boop. What have we got? A Velour. Okay, kind of cool. Kind of cool. I can't complain too much. All right, guys. So I think what I'm going to go ahead and do... Is, I mean, usually what I do is like jump cut the dungeon stuffs because, I don't know, to me personally, it's not the most interesting thing to watch, but maybe, maybe it's something you, you, you guys enjoy. You know, a bit of dungeon crawling. I have no idea. But guys, honestly, I don't really expect that the, that the balcony build will take very long at all, in fact. Like, even to the point where, I don't know, I almost feel like we'll be able to do it entirely on camera. So, yeah. Anyway, so, uh, up we go... I mean, more than anything, we're looking for a key. Just the more keys, the better, really, huh? All right, what do we got? Uh, that's looking pretty cool. I don't know, man. Uh, the oh, yeah, 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 there's a key. Pick it up. Thank you very much, sir. All right, and... Oh, there's the jungle chest. Found it! We done found it, guys. Boop, boop, boop. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, put all of that stuff down. Yeah, buddy. Not bad. Okay, guys, we found three out of four of the biome chests. I do believe the remaining one is going to be the hallowed chest. Uh, that'd be kind of nice to find, of course. Uh, but in the meantime, maybe what we could start doing is organizing our inventory. We don't want rope. We don't need the lesser healing potions. I will take that. We don't need that. We will be taking that. Hello, Mr. Uh, Blazing Wheel Thingy of Doom. Oh, wait. Ah, it just kind of entirely avoids. It's interesting. Right. Uh, all of this can go in here. Don't need that. Uh, we'll take the building blocks because why not? We've got the key. We'll keep that on us. Uh, recall potions. Don't need them anymore. We'll take that. Take that. Take that. And yeah, pretty much everything here. Yeah, dynamite, bone welder, chests, throwing knives. Yeah, I mean, why not? Yo, look at the amount of dudes here, man. There's loads of, there's loads of peeps. Yeah. Bones galore. Give them all to me. They all belong to me now. Thank you very much. Right. Let's keep ourselves going, huh? Alrighty, guys. Another chest. What have we got? A shadow key. Yeah. That's actually something we will need. What's this? Inferno potions. God. These things are incredibly hard to make. I believe it requires a fish from lava. That is right. Lava fish. I'm pretty sure it requires that. Anyway, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. I don't know, man. Inferno potions are definitely one of the most difficult potions to make because you require a hotline fishing rod, which, by the way, again, never ever managed to obtain it in any series, nor the gold fishing pole. So when we get either of those two, then, you know, we'll have ourselves a Terraria first, guys. It's going to be brilliant. Whoa, check it out, guys. Another really awesome looking painting in addition to a chest. Uh, how many gold keys do I have? Three. Okay, what have we got in here? Hey, Cobalt Shield, one of the absolute favorites. And uh, yeah, that's really cool. The eye sees the end. Oh, man. I love the fact that I'm going ahead and uh, checking out all of these uh, paintings that I wouldn't normally really take notice of, to be honest. I mean, they're really, really awesome. They really are. Oh, hello. Hello. There's a whole bunch of dudes here. Oh, there's another key slime over there. I feel like it might be a nice idea to go bop him a little bit. There you go. Found freaking fantastic. All right, skellies. Y'all are going to die, my friend. You're going to die. Yes. Yes. The more of you that die, the better things are going to be in this world. We need to rid all of the undead. Okay, so uh, what else have we got going on around here? Not a whole bunch by the looks of it. But one thing I did come to realize is that look how low down the world this dungeon goes. It goes like pretty much all the way down to the underworld. 
which is kind of amazing, actually. Oh, there's a handgun. Fan-freaking-tastic. I'll absolutely be taking that. Uh, and in the meantime, uh, that is... This is a very open room. Good God. I think this room would be, like, fantastic for farming. Like, honestly, when it comes to uh, hard mode and we need to farm up for ectoplasms, that room right there is going to be absolutely fantastic. There's the magic missile. I'll absolutely be taking that. Uh, in the meantime, yeah, there's still plenty of places in this dungeon that we apparently haven't explored yet. Uh, there's the mechanic. Oh, and there's the hollow chest. Guys, we found it. I like how it's just perched on its own little ledge. <laughs> That's pretty awesome, actually. Right. Uh, yes. Still plenty of stuff going on, guys. I mean, to be honest, I don't think there's that much more dungeon to explore. Alrighty, guys. We've got an Aqua Scepter in this chest looking fairly good. Uh, I mean, like I say, there's not really much more to explore. Yep, that seems to be the edge of the dungeon right there. There's a couple traps around here, which I should probably get rid of. And yeah, things are looking good, guys. My health, on the other hand, isn't. <laughs> we should probably uh, go ahead and, like, kill all these guys before I get absolutely bamboozled. I don't want to die. I really don't. Like, honestly, that would be really bad. Okay, uh, as I keep freaking walking on spikes like a doofus. Right, how many more places are there to go down? No, that's it. That's literally it, guys. There's no more places to explore, but once again, look how far down this place goes. Okay, so guys, I'm going to go ahead and experiment really quick. I'm going to go way down to the bottom of this place, right? And then uh, we're going to go ahead and see just how far it is actually going to be to get to the underworld. Because honestly, I mean, as I'm sure you guys have figured out, the less distance, the better. So, yes. Right. Ow! Ouch! Right, uh, hmm. Well, this might be a bit more dangerous than I first initially thought, actually, because, um, well, yeah, as you can see, um, it's a bit spiky down there. Ugh, I don't want to get on the wrong side of it. Right, uh, what if I go ahead and just, like, drop a couple of these down? Hey, there you go. Right. And then as we go along, we just do that. Yes. A nice safe way. Oh, jeez. Aside from these guys dropping in. Good God. A nice safe way, broadly speaking, anyway, of uh, getting rid of the spikes. There we go. fan freaking -tastic. Guys, I honestly can't believe just how low this dungeon goes. I don't think I've ever had a dungeon go down this low. I've had them come down to lava level. I feel like that's pretty common, but not this far down. Honestly, I don't think I've seen them go this far down. Okay, uh, right. Let me place down a couple of those again. Uh, we'll put down a torch there. And guys, we are going down, down, down to the underworld. Oh, yes, we are. It's going to be a fantastic time, my friends. And by the looks of that ash down there, that is indeed the underworld. Wow. That is absolutely fantastic. If we ever want an easy way of getting to the underworld, we might not even need to do a elevator build. We just go in the dungeon and just go all the way down. I mean, look at that. Look at this. Look how far you could drop way down from the top. That has got to be one of the coolest terrain generations for, or coolest uh, dungeon generations I've seen. But I think that's really epic. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. So that is the entirety of the dungeon explored, I do believe. Uh... There's a locked gold chest up top over there, but I'm thinking that we could probably more easily access that if we just went back up top and then drop back down, right? Yeah. All right, let's do that. And then once we've done that, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can upgrade any of our accessories, uh, maybe get the obsidian shield. That'd be fantastic. Uh, but failing that, we will go ahead and make a bit of a start on our balcony. Oh, yeah. And there it is, my friends, the final gold chest, and it just has another shadow key. I feel like it might be a nice idea just to... Double check real quick. I don't think there are any more. I think we got every single one of them. Yeah. Jungle chest. Yeah, we found all four of the biome chests. Yeah, guys. We're just about done here. And I even captured a, a duck. Because, um... Um, it's a duck. I mean, why would you not want to capture a duck? I mean, come on, man. You gotta be... You gotta be a crazy person to not want to have a duck in your life. I mean, come on. Come on. You can't honestly deny me that. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. Anyways, guys, I think what I'm going to go and do, like I say, is see if we can upgrade anything. And uh, failing that, we'll go ahead and see if we can't get the balcony build going. Let's do it. Hey! Guide Voodoo Fish on the third catch, my friends. Another fishing quest done. Let's get it handed in real quick. And journeyman bait fishing potions. Okay, okay. Not bad, my friends. Not bad. I will absolutely take all of that stuff. Uh, right, let's go get you put in there. And then, yeah, our little trio of fishing potions are 
going quite strong. Oh, yes. Fantastic. Once again, when the new day comes, we can get yet another fishing quest done. But in the meantime, how's about we add this to the collection? Boop. There you go. Look at that. So we've got, what, uh, 8, uh, 14, 50, 60, 17, 20, uh, 24. We've got 26 crates here so far, my friends. And uh, I envision us getting a lot more before hard mode starts as well. So don't you guys worry. Still got plenty of stuff planned. Uh, check it out, guys. We've also gone ahead and placed down an alchemy table here so we can make ourselves a ton of potions. Look at all this stuff. Rage potions, wrath, endurance, iron skin. Like, literally, almost every single potion in Terraria is right there. That's fan freaking fantastic, guys. Wait. Was Inferno on there? Oh, no, that's Rage. All right, Inferno and Rage look kind of similar to me. I don't know why. But anyways, guys, let us go ahead and get ourselves some materials together. And guys, we're going to make a start on this balcony build. Like I say, it's not going to take long. So I'm just going to go ahead and get some stuffs, and we're going to make a start on it. All right, guys. So goal number one is to go ahead and transfer all of the fishing stuff into a different chest. And, you know, we do have the ability to do so because I designated a couple of chests for fishing over here. So, yes, fishing stuffs, fishing yield. Uh, so, yeah, this is where all of the stuffs are going to go. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and just chuck everything in here. Uh, we'll go ahead and organize it a little bit later. Uh, but for now, I just want to go ahead and uh, get that chest clear so we can clear out this area and just keep going. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a good time, my friends. So, uh, let's just get down here again. Come on. There we go. And fishing yield. All of you can go in there. Yes, we do have a golden carp as well. I didn't actually catch that on camera. That was in the one of the, you know, the off-camera fishing sessions before that I mentioned. But, uh, yeah, guys. Anyways, we've got that space cleared out. So, what that means is we can actually make a bit of a start. And, guys, what we're going to do is uh, we're actually going to go ahead and uh, get rid of this little section here. Yes, what it means is this place is going to temporarily not be very symmetrical. Although, actually, I think I just made it symmetrical again. Or did I? Eh, not really. What if I go and... If I just put some lamps up there like that? Yeah, that'll do. All right, cool. So, all we need to do is uh, get the door placed in. And then we need to try and make a way out. And I think we're going to use hay as well. I think that's a pretty cool block to use, right? Uh, so, all I've got to do is make sure I don't mess it up. Because if I do, then, uh, yeah, that would kind of suck. All right. Uh, so, that's looking pretty decent. So, how's about we go ahead real quick and smooth that out. Uh, we need to go ahead and get rid of these here background walls and then amend the inside, of course, uh, because otherwise it's just going to look a little bit weird, isn't it? Okay, so, hmm. Well, now the roof looks kind of strange. What if, uh, what if I did something different, though? What if I did something like that? Like, we made the roof a little bit taller, right? And then, yeah, the, the roof could actually incorporate the doorway itself. Am I being silly doing this? I mean, I feel like I'm doing a fairly good job of doing this, right? I don't know. No idea. Guys, I'm going to go and get this room sorted out real quick, and we'll see what it's looking like. Alrighty, guys. So, how about it? This is what I've got going on so far. I decided to uh, put some of the paintings up, and I also decided to uh, move the animal skin that was in the top of this place with, uh, yeah, with something else. So, yeah, basically, uh, this is looking pretty decent, I would say, uh, but I still want to try... I don't know. I mean, do I want to just make this into a place where an NPC can live? I mean, the Dryad apparently is now living here. So, actually, if I was to go ahead and just move away real quick, the Dryad should just pop in there. Wait, so what's this room doing? Oh, this isn't valid housing yet. Oh, man. We're going to be going through that kind of crap again. Ah, oh, well, I'm going to have to sort that out because that is indeed where the Dryad is supposed to be. So, yeah. Okay. Well, anyways, guys, uh, you know, it's not looking too bad. Everything's looking all right. So, how's about we go ahead and just uh, continue on with this? Maybe we make that the edge, and then, you know, we can, like, just cast our fishing pole off the top there. We'll have to like that. And then all we're going to do, guys, very, very simply, is uh, we're going to go ahead and start placing down some little supports, rather like this. And I'm hoping that this will look fairly decent. I mean, it may do, it may not. It might look absolutely freaking terrible. I have no idea. All we could do is try it out and see what happens. Uh, so, yep, yeah, that's looking kind of okay. And then we bring this one down here like that. We're about to start drowning. Oh, gosh. Oh, it made that present tense. We are drowning. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, out of the water, buddy. Out of the border. There we go. Yeah, you see, I don't like that. It looks very, very weird. Yeah, we need some improvements to that. I think we need wooden beams. I think that's going to be the logical way to go, right? Alrighty, guys. So, the wooden beams are now in place. And all we've got to do is finish this bad boy off. Okay. Uh, that's looking pretty decent. Do we want to connect that to that? 
Yeah. Okay, that looks kind of cool. All right, and then all we're going to do is try to add in a little bit of a pattern or try to, uh, you know, evenly space these out. So maybe every three blocks or something. Uh, yeah, that looks kind of decent. And then maybe we can place one there, place one there. Maybe just put a torch up there. Yeah, okay. And then as a little bit of decoration, maybe we can have like a crate or two just for decoration. Like we never open them. We literally just go ahead and use it for decoration, right? So again, these will never be open. They're just for decoration. So uh, maybe we do something like that. Okay, and then we chuck that one on top like that. All right, not bad, not bad. And I feel like there's still something more we could do to this place to make it look a little bit better. Uh, maybe even just a crafting table, right? Little crafting table. Oh, better idea. Maybe we could have like a little seating area out here. Ooh, okay, so we'll still have a crafting table because why not? Uh, but yeah, we're going to have ourselves a table and chair out there because why not? I mean, you you got to love sitting down while you're freaking fishing, right? Yeah, now that sounds like a good idea. There we go. <laughs> that looks really cool, actually, guys. Nice little balcony build. I'm really glad that you guys suggested it because it looks pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome stuff. Ah, oh, we need to try and think of something to fill this space in here, though. I'm not entirely sure just yet. Although, I don't know. Maybe one suggestion could be to rise these up to the roof. And then by having the three blocks below, we could technically start placing in furniture down there, right? Um, I mean, I feel like that could work. Like, we could have a sawmill and some various other bits in here. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Anyways, guys, what we're going to do now is we're going to end the episode and, of course, jump into the comment question of the video before doing so, which for today comes from Amol Singh, who simply asks, where is Ark? Uh, once again, I don't know if you guys know this, but, but if you don't, then, you know, I forgive you. It's all good. But uh, I'm actually in the process of moving right now, and Terraria episodes basically don't take much time for me to make. Now, for those of you guys unaware, this is not the only channel I maintain on a full-time basis. I have a Minecraft channel called Python MC, link of which will be at the top of the description. So if you guys like Minecraft content, go ahead and check it out. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers over there, guys. If we can push it to over 100k in the next week or in the next few days or so, that would be fantastic. But we're so close to having our second channel hit 100k, which is amazing. So yeah, guys, like I say... I maintain that on a full-time basis as well, and uh, basically, during the whole process of moving, I need to try and prioritize the content that A, does well, and B, doesn't take much time to make. And sadly, Ark is a major, major grind. It's a major slog to get anything done. And basically, what I'm saying is, once I've moved, once I'm in my new place and I'm all settled down, I absolutely guarantee you guys, I will bring Ark back. I will bring it back. We'll continue the let's play. I've still got the save file, all that kind of stuff. But for now, sadly, I can't maintain it because I just don't have the time. So hopefully that answers your question, buddy. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't really know what to say, man. I mean, I don't know what my question of the video to you guys could be. Maybe you give me, guys, uh, give me just a second. I'll try and think of one. Oh, there you go. So my question of the video to you guys is very, very simple. It might seem a little bit selfish considering it's about me, but I'd be interested in knowing what is your favorite guys' series on this channel? Like, in the past or present? Like, what has been your favorite series so far on the channel? I'd be very, very interested in knowing. So, guys, on that note, time to end the episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, please do be sure to spend a second to drop a like rate to get mean the world to me if you did. Hit the subscribe button, ding that bell as well if you don't want to miss out on future content. But for now, my friends, it is time for me to head off. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day as always. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.